Hello, and welcome to the Tiny Trailer Workshop. See, you know when you go to places where people get taken for walks by their dogs? Quite often, you'll find sticks abandoned along the side of the path. And sometimes, some of them look like more than jumbo-sized toothpicks. I thought I would see if what I thought might be in this stick is really there. I have chosen the piece that I think will work the best, and after a few rearrangements, managed to get it secured in the chuck fairly well. But it's far from perfect. What I have in mind is a vase of sorts, so let's see what can be done here. I probably should have done this first. But at least this way I have a pretty good idea that it's centered anyway. Just to try and make sure that this all stays together, I'll saturate most of the areas that look like they may cause trouble with thin CA glue. We'll just keep our fingers crossed. Okay. 
now that it is looking about the right shape, is the perfect time to do a few off-camera touch-ups. It didn't work exactly as I had planned. The metal of this wood, as it turns out, is quite punky. And when it got down to where I thought it looked pretty good, it broke off. A little glue put it back together, and I think I have a plan. We'll just see. I have made a hemlock jam chuck species optional. And as long as I keep the tailstock in place, it should do all right. I am drilling a hole in the bottom here to allow for a reinforcing hemlock dowel species optional to be inserted later after it's finished jamming. Now it was my thought that the line where it broke might be easily disguised by a wrap of copper wire. Of course, the trick is to get it wrapped on here the right way. And yes, I edited and you only got proper turns on there. There were a few others. Now I just have to flatten the bottom of it here a bit. And yet more of the gritty kind of work. So now to create that dowel I needed. and then a little epoxy to seal the deal. It's all dry and I have cut it and now need to sand the inside here a bit. I wrapped some sandpaper around a drill bit for this. Now, just for a little extra added touch, I thought this vase deserved a flower. So, with the rest of the hemlock jam chuck, species optional, I have fashioned just what the doctor ordered. As a final step, I dipped the whole flower in amber shellac when it was done, and I think, I think it gives it a much more realistic look.
Okay, so I have shellacked this a couple of times and sanded it down a couple of times. Back and forth and back and forth. And you know, it looked really cool, but there was always something that wasn't quite wasn't quite right. And I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Something I haven't ever tried before. Um, I have thoughts of putting some green stain inside here. Leave the outside the way it is to that green. So keep your fingers crossed. This may just ruin the whole thing. We shall see. The deeper I delved into the project, I learned that this was a piece of red alder and the reason that it's not on the tree anymore is because age and rot have taken their toll. Thanks for watching and well I sure do hope to see you all here again next time. Bye for now.